five, four, three, two, one, zero. In 1977, NASA embarked on an unprecedented exploration, a one-way trip by launching two spacecraft into space at the same time. Both the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft were dispatched on an expedition to investigate the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. And it was just revealed that after spending almost eight years exploring space, the Voyager spacecraft has made a horrifying discovery. Was it the aliens? An unknown entity? Perhaps a hidden dimension far away in the dark depths of space? Join us as we explore the terrifying discovery by the Voyager at the edge of the universe that changes everything. First of all, we have discovered that there is indeed a time difference when you're in space. The astronauts at Voyager confirmed this by using an experiment as follows. When the spacecraft reached interstellar space and ended up on the opposite side of the sun from where we are, even at that great distance, it would still be able to take radio signals, which traveled at the speed of light, 17 hours to arrive at its destination, which is Earth. If a signal is transmitted from Earth on January 1st, 2000, and counting begins 17 hours later, the spacecraft will receive the signal on January 18th, 2000. On this side of the solar system, we have to wait until the 18th of July for those 17 hours to pass before our eyes. What astronomers discovered on the Voyager? The distance between the probe and Earth is currently just over 12 billion kilometers. Since its launch 45 years ago, the spacecraft has been communicating with Earth. NASA made the announcement early on Friday morning that the probe had successfully entered interstellar space. It was discovered by researchers that it had left our solar system on September 12th of the previous year. The probe has now entered the Helios Heath, which is the outermost layer of the atmosphere surrounding our Sun. However, researchers have made a horrifying discovery regarding this region of space. It is packed with particles and radiation that originate from other galaxies and stars. Both Voyager spacecraft were outfitted with a wide assortment of instruments, which enabled them to investigate Jupiter and Saturn during their missions. After 45 years of research, and what feels like an eternity's worth of time, the Voyager 1 spacecraft discovered an aberration in the cosmos. And in a matter that was created in a location that is not within our solar system, researchers from the University of Maryland have discovered that their probe is picking it. In what feels like an eternity's worth of time, the Voyager 1 spacecraft discovered an aberration in the cosmos. And in a matter that was created in a location that is not within our solar system, researchers from the University of Maryland have discovered that their probe is picking it up. Because this interstellar stuff is there, it is quite likely that it will crash with either of the two probes. NASA experts have fixed the problem that was causing the spacecraft which is 40 years old, to send jumbled health data to mission controllers on Earth. Earlier this year, Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which keeps its antenna pointed towards Earth, began to send back data that didn't accurately reflect what was happening on board. Even though the AACS seemed to be working normally, the data it was sending back was not accepted because it didn't make sense for the system. The probe kept gathering and sending scientific data, which showed that the rest seemed to be in good shape. The company said today that it had found out where the jumbled data came from, a broken machine that wasn't meant to send telemetry data. According to a NASA press release, the AACS had begun sending the telemetry data through an onboard computer that was known to have stopped working years ago, and the computer garbled the information, even though NASA experts had found a solution. They are still baffled as to why the AACS began sending data through the malfunctioning computer. They speculated that the AACS most likely got a bad command from another onboard computer. According to NASA, if that other onboard computer produced an incorrect command, there may be a problem somewhere on the spacecraft. Engineers are still trying to figure out where the problem comes from, but they don't think it will have a big effect on the future. The trip up to this point. The Voyager 2 space probe has been one of NASA's most successful missions ever since it was first sent into orbit back in 1977. Before entering interstellar space, it completed a journey of approximately 13 billion miles 
and made stops at Jupiter and Saturn along the way. Now, after spending the past 45 years in orbit, it has made a remarkable discovery that has the potential to alter the course of human history. Since 2013, when they were around 1.7 billion miles away from Earth, we have not received any communication from them. Now, for some reason that is unknown to us, we are hearing from them again. But they are not providing any explanation as to why this is happening or what transpired to cause it. Late in December 2018, NASA made the long-awaited announcement that their Voyager 1 spacecraft had, after 45 years of exploration in deep space, finally entered interstellar space. Since leaving Earth, Voyager 2 has lagged behind its twin, Voyager 1. But it is getting closer all the time and will eventually catch up to its sibling. Before beginning their journey back towards our solar system, the two Voyager spacecraft will first investigate various regions of interstellar space. When the Voyager space probe was initially launched by NASA in 1977, it was the first mission to deliver in-depth photos and scientific information regarding the solar system's four largest planets. In September 2013, researchers uncovered a previously unknown region of space that is responsible for the birth of stars. The Hourglass Nebula is situated 15,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation Carina and spans the distance of three light-years in its entirety. It is anticipated that it will take around 250 million years for any material originating from this nebula to make its way to our solar system. The data collected by the Herschel and Hubble telescopes were combined for the scientists to generate an image of the nebula. Both of these telescopes are separate. How long are they going to keep track? It is estimated that Voyager 1 is approximately 18.4 billion kilometers away from Earth. Since one light year is equivalent to 9.5 trillion kilometers, it will take the spacecraft another 164 years to travel to the limit of our solar system. Once it reaches that point, it will begin to investigate the space between the stars and eventually float out into the emptiness of deep space where human hands may never touch it again. They might have gotten away from us a long time ago. The Voyager spacecraft, which has been doing space mapping for the past 45 years, has now revealed that it has discovered a new object in the Kuiper Belt. The good news is that it is not heading towards Earth at a speed that might cause a collision. But what could this object possibly be? A dwarf moon? Perhaps some lost giant asteroid is swimming aimlessly in space. Will there be any other reports concerning this phenomenon as far as this discovery goes? All we know is that it is believed that the object is four times larger than Pluto. And because its orbit takes it periodically outside of our solar system, we may have already lost contact with it, making it hard for the probes to catch up or even take another glimpse at it. The space discoveries made by the Voyager probes were by far the most baffling ones so far. However, these discoveries will be a Kickstarter to start understanding space and its environment even more, and maybe even help us set foot on another planet. <laughs>